Hello and welcome to week one of our virtual summer library program, Oceans of Possibilities. This week's program is called Under the Sea and we're going to read two wonderful books about Under the Sea and the Sea. Our craft in this week's packet is this little ocean scene. It's made by tearing paper in different colors of blue. We used a piece of sandpaper for the beach. And then we made a sailboat on the ocean and there's actually a little rainbow fish for you to color because that's one of our stories. All of this is made just with colored paper, tearing and cutting. So if you've already gotten your packet, this is the craft to make that goes along with these stories. And if you didn't get a packet, you can probably do this at home with things that you already have. We welcome you to our virtual summer library program, Oceans of Possibilities, and we hope that you'll join us each week on Facebook, on our kids' Yellowbusha County Library Stories, and um, also on our uh, website. Welcome to the Oceans of Possibilities Summer Library Program, Week 1. The first book we're going to look at today is Hum and Swish by Matt Myers. And this was published by Neil Porter Books. This is a story about a little girl at the beach beside the ocean. You can see the picture of her there in the sand digging. Jamie and the sea are friends. Jamie hums and the waves swish. People come and go asking questions. What are you making there, they ask. I don't know, says Jamie. Aren't you clever? I don't know, says Jamie. Isn't that pretty? I don't know, Jamie says. What's that supposed to be? I don't know, Jamie says. How cute is that? The waves swish, Jamie hums. The sea tells story, but it doesn't ask questions. Jamie's dad brings sunblock. Is that a horse? Maybe, says Jamie. Jamie's mom brings a juice box. When do you think you might be finished with your project? Not sure, Jamie says. Hum, swish. Someone else comes. She brings a lot of things, but no questions. What are you making, Jamie asks. I don't know yet. Me neither, says Jamie. Jamie and C and the woman are friends. Jamie hums. The woman swishes her paintbrush in a jar. I think I'm done, Jamie says. Me too, the woman says. You see, she made a painting of Jamie and her sandcastle that she built. I hope you've enjoyed this book, Hum and Swish and that you'll come and check out more books from the library. Our next story is Rainbow Fish Discovers the Deep Sea. It is written and illustrated by Marcus Feister and published by North South Books. Let's find out what happens to Rainbow Fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, Rainbow Fish and his friends played happily near an underwater canyon. 
Over the edge, the seabed dropped deep down. No one knew how far. I would love to know what's down there, said Rainbow Fish to the little blue fish. Who knows what's waiting to be discovered? Can you see them? If I were you, I would stay up here, said the octopus. I've heard that it's cold down there and dark and full of strange creatures, nothing like us. So Rainbow Fish had to be content to swim along the edge and stare down into the depths, wondering what was down there. One day, a strong ocean current pulled Rainbow Fish's last sparkling scale right off. The scale drifted over the edge of the canyon wall and sank down, down, down into the darkness. <clears throat> Rainbow Fish wanted to chase after it, but the little blue fish pulled him back. No, Rainbow Fish, he cried. Please don't go after it. There are strange creatures down there. I'd like to meet them, said Rainbow Fish. Oh dear, said the little blue fish. Wait here, I'll get help. But Rainbow Fish couldn't wait. As soon as his friend left, he dove down into the depths. He just had to find his scale. Soon it was so dark that Rainbow Fish could see nothing except a tiny sparkling speck getting smaller and smaller and smaller below, below him. <clears throat> Rainbow Fish started to feel frightened. Then suddenly it began to get light again. A glowing pink creature seemed to appear out of nowhere. Hello, said the, the creature. I'm a firefly squid. Who are you? And what are you doing down here? Rainbow fish swam closer. I'm a rainbow fish, he said. I lost my sparkling silver scale, and I came down to look for it. You haven't seen it by any chance, have you? I'm afraid not, said the squid but I'll help you look. So Rainbow Fish and the Firefly Squid set off to find the lost scale. Along the way, they met three glowing jellyfish. A sparkling silver scale, said the jellyfish. Yes, one drifted by this way. We played with it for a while and then it drifted off again. We didn't know someone had lost it. If we had known that, we would have kept it here for you. Rainbow Fish and the Firefly Squid swam deeper down. Suddenly, their way was blocked by a wavy curtain of bluish-green tendrils. Watch out, called the squid. Those are the poisonous tendrils of a siphonospore. Siphonospore. Rainbow Fish shivered. There was danger in the deep the sea. Have you seen my sparkling silver scale? He asked shyly. The siphonospore was rather rude. Down here, even the tiniest crabs glow and glisten, he mumbled. How can I be expected to spot a single sparkling scale? Don't feel bad, said the firefly squid. He's just like that. Look, there's a sea slug. Maybe she has seen your scale, but the sea slug hadn't seen anything. Sorry, she said, I wish I could help, but I don't see very well. Rainbow fish and the firefly squid swam down farther until they reached the seabed. My scale must be around here somewhere, said rainbow fish but it is very dark at the bottom and the squid's light was too weak to show very much. There's a Dumbo octopus, said the firefly squid. Come on, I'm sure she'll help us. But the three of them still couldn't spot the sparkling scale. I know what to do, cried the octopus. I'll just give you a new sparkling costume, rainbow fish and she covered him in a shower of glitter so that Rainbow Fish glistened like never before. Thank you, said Rainbow Fish. It's beautiful, truly, but I really want my own scale back. 
Then we're going to need more light, said the firefly squid. He called to all the creatures of the deep sea, and they all came. Together, they lit up the seabed. Wow, said Rainbow Fish, it's beautiful down here. Then everyone looked and looked and looked. They were just about to give up when the light from a lantern fish showed something glittering in the water. My scale, said Rainbow Fish, and everyone cheered. Oh, thank you, said Rainbow Fish to his new friends. I never would have found it without you. Rainbow Fish and the Firefly Squid swam up, up, up with the sparkling silver scale. Before they reached the top of the canyon, they had to part. Come visit us again, said the squid. I will, promised Rainbow Fish. The little blue fish and all of his other friends were waiting to welcome Rainbow Fish home. Everyone wanted to know what it was like down in the depths. Was it scary, they asked? Were the creatures awful? No, said Rainbow Fish. They were beautiful. They looked different, but they turned out to be wonderful friends, just like you. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful book, Rainbow Fish Discovers the Deep Sea. Hello, here's a programming preview for next week. On Monday, June 13th, Pamela Redwine will present a, an in-person program at Coffeeville at 1.30 called um, Ocean Life. And this will be the craft that will be made, these cute little crabs using pool noodles. And then on Wednesday, June 15th, our virtual program is Pirates Ahoy. And this is the program, this is the craft in your program packet. If you're not registered in the Summer Library program, we might have space for just a few more children. So you can call Coffeeville Public Library at 675-8822 and see if there's room for you. We invite you to join us virtually, in person, uh, for our exciting Oceans of Possibility Summer Library program. But most of all, we invite you to come to the libraries at Coffeeville and Oakland check out books and read with your families this summer.